Hi, this is Shekhar Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let us understand what is Flutter and how the Flutter development is different from other JavaScript based cross platform development. And also, we shall understand the advantages of using Flutter for developing the applications. Before I start with the video, if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe and click on the bell icon for the notifications of the latest updates of my videos. These days, when you observe, we have a requirement such that we wanted to develop an application for the mobile platforms such as Android, iOS, and also for web and desktops using a single code base. To achieve this, Google has introduced Flutter. So in simple terms, what is Flutter means? We can consider Flutter as a framework or a UI toolkit that provides a fast and expressive way for developers to develop cross-platform mobile applications that is native Android, native iOS applications, web applications and desktop applications using a single code base which can be compiled directly to native ARM code and can also use the GPU and can access platform specific APIs and services directly. Whenever we use a term cross-platform application development, already we have some JavaScript based technology for cross-platform development. Then what is the difference between Flutter and JavaScript based technology? So first let us understand how the JavaScript based technology solves the cross-platform application development requirement. Let us say you have written the application code using the JavaScript and created the native app. And now whenever we execute our application, then it will create a bridge which will be used to generate the platform specific OEM widgets at the runtime which will be displayed using the canvas and event handling will be managed by events of the platform and the bridge layer will also be used to consume the platform specific services such as location, Bluetooth, audio, camera, sensors, etc. So whenever we access the UI elements frequently, for example, 100 times a second with actions like swipe view, animations, transitions, etc. Then the app code has to communicate using the bridge, which usually creates a lot of performance issues. Now let us try to understand how Flutter works. Let us assume that we have created a Flutter application using the Dart language and generated a native app. Now the important point we need to understand and observe here is that widgets get rendered to the native OEM elements within the native app itself so that the UI can be directly displayed on the canvas of the platform. And also the app consists of the platform channels through which directly all the platform specific services can be used including the GPU by the app. Now, if you compare both technologies for developing the cross-platform application development, Flutter totally eliminates the concept of bridge and moves the rendering into your app itself so that the performance of the application developed using Flutter will be very fast. Internally, the Flutter consists of a framework built with Dart and a rendering engine built mostly in C++. Because everything in the top region of Flutter is Dart, so it provides a complete stack trace for better debugging and also we will be provided with a capability to change anything and everything in all levels of the framework as per our requirement. Now let us understand some of the advantages of using Flutter. The major advantage of working with Flutter is 
developing the applications is super fast because flutter is engineered for developing native mobile web desktop applications at a very fast pace stateful hot reload feature of flutter allows you to change your code and see it come to life in less than a second without losing the state of the app flutter comes with a rich set of customizable widgets which are all built based on our modern reactive framework and one important point we need to remember here is that in flutter everything is a widget where a widget can be considered as an immutable description of a part of an user interface a flutter widget can be a control like text button image or it can be a stylistic element such as color or font or a flutter widget can also be an aspect of a layout such as center padding etc flutter can also be easily integrated with popular development tools such as android studio intellij visual studio code xcode etc which means that you can get started quickly with the ide you already aware of flutter moves the widgets rendering animations and gestures into the framework to give you complete control over every pixel on the screen which means as a developer we will have the flexibility to build custom designs as per our requirement flutter apps follow platform specific conventions and interface details such as scrolling navigation icons drawers and fonts the biggest advantage we have in flutter is that the learning curve is very simple and easy for both new and experienced developers if you are a newbie then flutter provides a fast fun and modern way to deliver native applications for both android and ios web and desktops and if you are an experienced developer then you can add flutter to your existing workflows and tools to build new expressive uis remember that flutter is a free and open source and can be used by developers and organizations around the world including enterprises medium level companies and also startups hope you have got a fair idea on what is flutter and why do we need to learn flutter and in the next video let us understand how to get started with the flutter application development hope you have enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed in preparing this video if you haven't subscribed my channel please do subscribe and click on the bell icon for the latest updates of my videos and if you like this video please click on like share and comment this encourages me to create more videos happy programming your shaker